Good morning. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Trucker Jim channel. I am starting a brand new week. That's right. It is early Monday morning. Filling the truck up here. Hopefully, everything will be cool today and there's no interruption in the supply of interior that I pick up every day that goes down to the Volvo plant. But it is March 2020 and the coronavirus has taken over the media, taken over Facebook. That's what everybody's talking about. We are being encouraged to avoid other people, especially crowds. The NBA is suspended. The Masters is canceled. No baseball. UFC fights are happening in empty stadiums. You can't find toilet paper anywhere. It's a time like we've never experienced and well, it's just been going on for a few days now. There could be an interruption in supply and that's not gonna be good. But let's head over to my morning pickup. embarrassing I was focused so much on making this video for you guys that I didn't check my work work order information and you know I do the same thing and go to the same place every day so I'm like okay well this isn't too much of a shortcut right wrong <laughs> as I pulled up my work order to see what the number was that I give them I'm picking it up at the terminal trailer 7575 where I just left come over here well that's where the trailer is so we got to find that trailer hook up to it run in and grab the bills and then we were our Volvo bound effects that's going to come from the last few days, all of these shutdowns, coronavirus, people working from home, and, and of course, my number one concern is how is it going to affect me? see the trailer that I was looking for so let's go in here and check the box it's not in there let's call dispatch all right thanks all right here 
Oh, y'all. Yeah, really? That's Callie. Oh, yeah. She had clubs. She all right. Clubs all right. Here's the deal. I've been knowing this was going to happen. Volvo in Ridgeville, it's closed. That's where I go every day. So, yeah, things are going to be a little different, and I can't tell you what. But the good news is I'm going back to where I just was, and they're dispatching me the right numbers now, um, and take that to the Columbia Yard. So we'll get to go to the Columbia Yard. We know at least that. I asked, hey, do I need a sleeper truck to be able to stay busy? Um, I don't know. They're working on everything now. This is uncharted territory. My dispatch is coming in, and it's a T-call. That's kind of cool. I can get my dispatch info on my watch, on my iPhone, and, well, it's also on the truck Qualcomm over here, too. This is the kind of stuff that concerns me. When miles get interrupted as a truck driver, your paychecks, your money gets interrupted. <laughs> We'll just have to see how all this plays out. Try this again. All right. Well, what they're saying right now, Volvo is just closed down for today to do some cleaning and things. So I am taking this load to the Columbia Yard. And I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do after that. So let's find trailer X79. There it is. on the highway and that is good news could you imagine the chain reaction if trucking shut down it would be total chaos in less than a week you know a lot of people think ah, it's just a hoax and then others are probably saying something other than that I don't know what it's gonna be it just makes me want to be around my kids mine are out of school if you've got kids, they're probably out of school now, too, which causes a whole new set of problems because, well, you can't just leave kids out in the backyard like you can maybe a dog. But even dogs require love and attention. Like, I'm considering, okay, do I go back out on the, the road during this? Because I don't know if my local gig is <laughs> going to float like it normally does. And, you know, it was still a pay cut from what I used to make when it flowed, but I have food, and I'm not supposed to take him with me. Maybe I can get a waiver for that. We can hit the road. Jim and Boone together again. You know, originally it was Jim and Boone struck in journey. If you want to see those, go back to season one, back in 2015, 2016. <laughs>
from that trailer, I'm gonna take my paperwork inside and I don't know what's next. All right, let's get in here and see what we can find out. All right, here's the deal. I got a load going to get some tires from the Bridgestone and in Graniteville and drop in at Greer. I have no idea what's after that. But there's no empties here at the Columbia Yard except for one out of service trailer and a roll up door. So I'm going to the that same place I take pallets to. I think it's called like IFC or something like that. It's right around the corner from the Bridgestone that I'm going to, which is near Augusta. So we're gonna head there. Hopefully the place will be open and we have an empty. And hopefully Bridgestone will be open and all's cool there and can get some tires and at least head back to Greer. That won't be a full day. I don't know if there'll be something after that or not, but I told operations, hey, I ain't really trying to do another vacation right now. Um, if I need to get a sleeper truck, I'll get a sleeper truck. <sighs> or I may be staying my ass out the house on quarantine. These are interesting times. If anybody else has any stories of how you know, the coronavirus situation, the outbreak they're expected in America has affected you. Well, we'd like to hear about them in the comments, but it's changing by the day. I remember, what was it? Wednesday or Thursday night or something like that. Within about a half hour, we found out all plane travel to the U.S. from Europe canceled. Then, what was it? Tom Hanks and, and his wife or girlfriend has tested positive for the coronavirus and an NBA player, Rudy, whatever his name is, and he's all t licking his hands and touching microphones and stuff a couple of days before. And then um, NBA suspended play. And then baseball. And then fighting. And then everything else. Anybody go anywhere this weekend? I went to a family reunion not many people were there compared to normal numbers. <sighs> but let's get what we can while we can get it. This is not where I'm getting my load. No, this is where I'm getting it empty so I can go get a load. We'll still be playing. I, don't wanna be I did not bring my boots today because it didn't look like there was gonna be much rain. But this yard I'm getting ready to go to Usually, you need boots, because this damn thing's muddy. And I've opened so many trailer doors at this place, but apparently the empties are on this far side, but I've got a list of three trailers that are supposed to be empty. One of the things I don't really like doing is searching a big ass yard of trailers for one that's supposed to be empty. Now it's easier when loaded ones have seals but that is not always the case. Boom, there's one of them. Seven, zero, zero, three. All right, we are hooked up to this trailer and thank goodness it indeed is empty. Now you experienced drivers, you probably already know this, but for you new truckers, do not trust anybody. When it comes to shippers and receivers, if a trailer's empty or not, you will be given wrong information, well, more than you wish you did. So always, 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 any trailer you're picking up you think is empty, check it. You should be doing it anyway. It's a part of your pre-trip, right? You pre-trip when you start the day. 
you also pre-trip any new trailer that you hook up to. But let's get the heck out of here and get under a load and get some miles for the day. Because I honestly don't know what these next few weeks are going to be like. If I could be you, if you could be me, Lord, for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other. We had a little gap in time, but I am back at the house now. But I was talking to a buddy on the way home, and he said the CDC just released, instead of groups of 50 or more, which was the last that I heard, which is kind of crazy, it's been lowered to 10. 10! This song is recorded by our old friend David D, A.K. Truck and Elvis, that I'm doing a voiceover so I don't get a copyright notice from him. Thanks, Elvis. Oh, walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Yeah, before you were viewed. Wrap up this video, but before we do, yes, indeed, front page of Apple News from the White House. They're suggesting we don't get in groups larger than 10. <sighs> this is going to change some things. Guys, you're not going to find out what happens next here on the Trucker Gym channel. I'm going to find out just like all of you. But these are interesting times. Uh, hopefully, this will be a short-term short thing and everything will get back to normal. But I don't think it's gonna. This is gonna interrupt every gathering at a bar. People going out to eat in restaurants, much less concerts, sporting events. What's this mean for high school athletics going forward? Um, hopefully, this thing will blow over. I do have one question for, for your audience. And this is not coronavirus, toilet paper, hand sanitizer related. Dog poop. When I walk Boone, you know, I, I'm in a neighborhood, so unless we get down through the woods, he's probably going to poop in somebody's yard. And, I don't know, I've been doing this for a few weeks now, and just reaching down, picking it up, and sticking it in my pocket, that's not really working. I'm kidding. I've been using like Walmart bags and things like that to pick pick it up and I know to at least carry a couple with there but I don't like it. I feel like I'm touching his warm poop through the bag. So if anybody has suggestions of the best way to do that please leave a comment below. Uh, I hope everyone stays safe, stays healthy, that all of this with the coronavirus will run its course and things will be back to normal soon. But this should be an interesting next 30 days or more. But I I'll try to, you know, pop out a video every so often. But if plants shut down, I don't know how this will interfere with, with trucking, ex especially for bare essentials. So... I guess we'll all just have to stay in touch through uh, social media and telephone and FaceTime and text message and all that. Uh, I don't do the, the best job of keeping up with people, but you guys can leave a comment below for me. But I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking. Everybody go